right y'all we're back for another installment of Jay Verizzle the Fisher I'm here at Cypress Cove Park in Leland we're gonna get back in the yak today and uh, do a little paddling and see if we can get into anything I fished here a few times I've never had any luck so um, this actually feeds into what's called Sturgeon Creek and I've never gone that far before so I'm gonna try to go up into Sturgeon Creek I've heard there's a lot of bass and uh, brim crappy and catfish and it's kind of a brackish but more fresh than salt so we'll see what we can get into all right just to give you an overview of the cypress cove park there's a well it was a little boat launch here for like a john boat but the park's all kind of sealed up now so you can't use that but we're gonna be going that way and heading upstream and then hopefully we'll be able to use the current on the way back in they do have a nice little kayak launch kind of like the one I showed you at Sutton Lake this one's been around for a little bit longer but makes it easy to launch the kayak and get underway and just pull yourself down and drop in the water there and then we're gonna head that way I think I might actually just use the uh, little boat ramp launch though I think that'll work just fine for me I don't know if y'all can see this but they're starting to pop top water right now we're right where cypress cove the creek that i put in at meets the sturgeon so it's like the junction of two streams here i think that might be good i did have another kayaker warn me that there was about a 13 foot gator down a little southeast of us i'm not going down that far I have no idea what's in here. I've heard bass. I've heard bofin. I've heard gar. I've heard catfish. Oh, he popped right there. Let that sit for a second. Tighten this up. Sun might be playing a little bit of havoc on us right now for recording. Oh, hoo hoo, right at the kayak. Yep, there's something in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it came off. God. Oh, he got 
Dang. Ooh, he broke it. Good God, he was a monster. What do we got? What do we got? Where am I? Oh! <laughs> oh! I should have put this on a lot earlier. <laughs> Well, folks, once again, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. So we had some fun, uh, explored a new area, somewhere I'd never been before. And we actually, uh, we had some good fish action there towards the end of it, and it ended up getting dark on me. I think if I could have stayed a little longer, probably would have got one on the boat. That one that broke the line, that was six pound minimum. Um, one thing I learned today is <laughs> make sure you bring the right gear six pound monofilament six pound test monofilament where i was fishing that monster that hooked onto it there was if he as soon as he decided he wanted to go that was it he was gone um i lost a couple good lures uh some of my more favorite ones but you know that's how it goes so um i hope you enjoyed it anyway it was a good adventure on the kayak as always jay Veriz the fisher i'm rocking the bass dash with my lifetime tioga 300 dollars kayak and just some basic gear and i'm out here having fun showing y'all that it can be done all right so that's it for this fishing adventure until the next time i'm out well I couldn't leave it at that. It's been eating me up since Sunday. It's Tuesday now. I know it's a work week, you know, um, after work, but I got dinner done early and um, I had to get out here and give it another shot. I just can't stand losing that huge behemoth largemouth that I lost Sunday. So I got some better gear. They're uh, starting to pop water now and uh, we're gonna give it a try and see what we get. All right, if you want big fish, use big bait. Let's see.
what that is. Oh, I got that. I think it might be a um, gar, actually. That's why I don't think I'm hooking them because I don't think they can get their mouth on it. It's a gar. That's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Got him. Got off. Well, now I know what's in here. Oh, you got off. It's a nice size guard that I had, though. I'm going to count him because I sure as heck wasn't trying to get him off the, get him up in the boat. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's stripping a lot. Oh, he's a big one. <sighs> Tried to let him wear himself out a little bit. Let's see what he is. Oh, he decided he was gonna run again. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Is it a gar? I can't tell what it is yet. Yep, gar. <laughs> I didn't bring the net either. Ooh, ooh, he's trying to break pole. Oh, yep, he cut it. <laughs> Whoo! I don't even think I recorded on the head cam. <laughs> wow. See if they get top water, that'd be fun to see. I'm just going to 
All right, we switched up from the Whopper Plopper and actually put on this uh, jointed simulated bass, I guess. It's a little heavy, should cast good. Uh, it's not a deep diver, so it's gonna be a floater. All these things are hitting top water anyway, but it's pretty big. Well, we're gonna cast a few more times and then we'll call it a day. That's a heavy lure. Oh yeah, we're on. Oh yeah. Oh, he came off. He didn't hook well enough. Oh, he's on. <laughs> I'm getting this. Nope, oh, he's gonna take some line. Let's see if you can see him. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. There ain't no way I'm getting him in a boat. Well, maybe. God, he's big. <laughs> All right. See that snout? Shoot. Maybe I can get him. Please don't get me. I hope I got the head cam on. And that, my friends, is why I didn't have Look at that. Look at that sucker. Hold on, fish. I'll get this off of you. Oh. He's not done yet. I was trying to get him. I'm getting tired. I just want to get the hook out of him. That's a land, though. If I can get him close enough, I can get the pliers in and just get him pliered. Come here. Come here. There you go. Nice release. Nice release. God, he was a big fish. Whew. That's not what I was after, but I'll take it. After the struggles I've had. Did you see that? And I'm going to call it a day with that because it's starting to get dark. And, uh... I've had enough for today. That was awesome. Thank you for watching Jay Verizzle the Fisher. Hopefully you uh, give us a like and a subscribe on that one because that was some good fish right there. I dig it. So here we are back on Sturgeon Creek. I came back out here and I did it. <laughs> that was a big long nose gar. They get bigger than that and I had a few on today 
and uh, I hope you got some good shots of what I got. You know, I just wasn't satisfied with Sunday. I knew I had a big one on Sunday. I know I had a large mouth because I saw him break water before he popped it, but no large mouth today, but it was fun. It was a blast out here doing what I love to do. So this is now the closing of the second part and uh, this fishing adventure is over. I think I'm gonna let Cypress Cove Park and Sturgeon Creek chill for a little while before I hit it again, but definitely worth checking out if you're into kayaking and kayak fishing specifically. That's it for now. Jay Verizzle Fisher. I'm out.